So the topic of film versus digital has always been interesting to me because uh, it's in many ways unanswerable. I feel like we're always trying to replace every analog item with a digital one. Uh, I'm not convinced that this is necessarily the right thing to do. As with everything, the boring answer is probably the right one, where the sweet spot is probably in the middle. People don't like that. People want to know what wins, what loses. We rely so much on digital technology as being the answer to everything now. But it's just ones and zeros, and it's a limitation. So first, let's just talk about the science behind it. Forget aesthetics for a moment. Digital will never fully replicate film. The photochemical process is entirely different than how a CMOS sensor captures light. I'm not an expert on how digital sensors work, but ultimately you're dealing with a zero and a one in terms of what ends up on that memory card. The nature of digits is finite and it's man-made. The nature of chemistry is not. And so by itself, that by itself, if you just understand that factor alone, there is no way a digital image will ever be able to exactly replicate film. Now, personally, I believe film is beautiful. Every time I see a film that is shot by a talented cinematographer, I cannot deny how beautiful film looks. People describe it as warm. I can relate to that. It feels warm. It's the, it's the best word you can come up to. It doesn't feel cold and stark. It has roll off. That's another word that people use, meaning there's no distracting sharpness to it. It has uh, amazing dynamic range, which means nothing is too black or too blown out. It bends, it's stretchable, it bends well when the range of light in a frame, in any given frame, is wide, meaning you've got really bright spots and really dark spots. It, it bends well, it still looks good. It doesn't blow out or crush the blacks. And it does have movement and texture to it. A lot of people call it the grain, the movement, I see that. And these are, you know, some examples that that I would use to describe what great film looks like. I mean, the most iconic films that I can think of, the ones I love the most, are shot on film. Uh, everything about it was film. And they're beautiful. And now let's talk about digital. Digital images are also beautiful in my opinion, but different. It is sharp. Some of the sharpest images I have seen are shot on digital cinema cameras. A couple examples of films that have been recently shot on digital cameras that I believe are beautiful, but different than film. One, The Revenant. That was shot digitally on an Airy Alexa, shot on very wide lenses, and it was purposely shot on digital because of the heart, well, not just because of the harsh conditions, but he, I think the director wanted to have a sense of reality to it. He wanted it sharp. He wanted it clean. He wanted it to feel like you were there like you were in the cold, in the stark beauty of it, uh, suffering along with this protagonist. Emmanuel Lubeski was the uh, cinematographer for The Revenant, shot on digital. Another movie that I think is beautifully shot was Blade Runner 2049. Obviously an incredible cinematographer, uh, Roger Deakins, 
who uses uh, digital cinema cameras now uh, more than he uses film. That's not to say he wouldn't go back to film. He's said that before, but a beautifully shot movie, uh, won him an Oscar, but not filmic at all. In my, in my opinion, it looks very clean, much cleaner than the original Blade Runner does. The lighting is beautiful, everything else, but the original Blade Runner is not as clean. It's anamorphic, one, which has to do with the lens, not the film medium, but it's also just not as sharp. Deacons use spherical lenses on 2049 and a digital camera, and it is very, very sharp. You can see it. It's just got that uh, sharpness to it. But beautiful. I mean, incredible. But not film. Another one, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Um, this was Peter Jackson's movie. I'm forgetting uh, the cinematographer that, that sadly passed away after these movies, but he was also the same cinematographer for the movies, the Lord of the Rings films, which was shot on film. And you can contrast that difference. I mean, one example, for example, I think about Gandalf, shots of him, of Ian McKellen in as Gandalf in the early 2000s on film look different than the shots of him as the same character on on digital not just because he's aged but it just you can feel you can sense the difference between the two mediums but still beautiful i think the hobbit was shot beautifully and lit beautifully i'm sh- i know there was a lot of post work done on that but still to me when sometimes when i look at the hobbit i think wow this is almost looks better than The Fellowship of the Ring does. But then I go back and I'm split because I watch certain scenes of Fellowship and the way it was was lit and it's kind of, it's got this roughness to it, this filmic kind of roughness to it that is just, it's almost, it just sounds, it seems more uh, timeless is the word I'm looking for. Look at certain frames here in these examples. Is this beautiful because it was shot on film? What makes this image dynamic? What makes this image interesting for you to look at? What makes it compelling? Just from a cine- cinematographer's perspective, not from the story's perspective. Um, and I'm not giving you any sound either. Um, How about this image? What makes this image and its movement and its beauty and the the camera movement and the movement of the characters in the frame, is it the fact that it was shot digitally in this case? Is that what makes it beautiful? Is it the camera? Think about it. Here's another example. Is this an interesting frame or an interesting scene because it was shot on film? Does the film make it the most interesting? Is is it the film that says, oh my gosh, wow, had he captured this digitally and shot it exactly the same way and lit it the same way, it would not look this good. Is that true? And now this one. Do we wish, in this case, that it was shot with film instead of a digital camera? Does it make this this shot any less interesting? Any less compelling? Because it was shot digitally and not on film? Here's another thought. What if we had invented the transistor before we had discovered the photochemical process? And let's say our world had began to capture photographic images digitally instead of 
photochemically. <clears throat> now, we can argue for endlessly about whether that is even possible or would have happened. Um, I, I doubt it would have. But if we had, would we today, would people like Quentin Tarantino, so I'm always remembering this argument that Quentin Tarantino made about when he grew up on cinema, he basically had said, I've always believed in the magic of movies. And to me, the magic of movies is connected to 35 millimeter. It does nothing for me. I mean, I actually think I'm getting gypped when I go to a movie and I realize it's either been shot on digital or being projected in digital. Um, I mean, some people feel differently about this, but I, I think it's the death keel. I think it's the death rattle. You know, I, I always find that fascinating that we're so staunch about what we love nostalgically and, and, and what we see nostalgically, 24 frames per second. You know, they chose 24 frames per second. I don't know why, but we're used to 24 frames per second. And, um, you know, that's what we grew up on. That's what we saw when we went to the cinema. That's what we saw. It begs the question that do we constantly, you know, especially as we get older, we're so biased in our views of what is good and what isn't good. Um, and could it possibly be? I'm not saying that it's not absolute truth. Maybe Quentin Tarantino is absolutely right. You know, that in the end, film is always and absolutely better than a digital image. I don't know. I think that's subjective. But the point is, is it would it have been different had he grown up on a digital image, you know, at 30 frames per second? And all his memories of all the great stories and all the great actors and all the great movies that moved him. Um, you know, would he be clinging to an Aerie Alexa like he clings to a Panavision camera? You know, <laughs> because digital was first and it's what he remembers as a child and brings back all the emotions of what he believes cinema was. You know, it's an interesting question to ask. Anyway, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Uh, I had a lot of fun talking about it. I love talking about it. Uh, I talked to my family to death about this stuff, and they hate it. So I, it, you know, I wanted to get this channel out to just start talking about things that I love and sharing those things with people who um, want to talk about them and want want to and are as interested in these things as I am. So thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate any comments. You know, I'd love to hear what you guys think about, you know, how this has evolved and, and maybe your thoughts on AI, your thoughts on digital technology, your broader thoughts on us as humans. I, uh, I find this fascinating. So until next time, thanks so much. See you soon.